Tonight, the FBI is trying to track down the person or people who caused an explosion at a, at a mosque in Bloomington. Ivory Hecker is at the Dar al Farouk Islamic Center with what we know so far. Ivory, what can you tell us? Well, Corey, the mosque's executive, executive director told me that the congregation was gathered for first prayer this morning when the explosion happened just across the hall in the imam's office. What we're looking at is the window to the imam's office. You can see it's boarded up after the glass was broken out, the shattered glass all over the ledge below. And you can see the blinds are melted from that explosion. The FBI telling reporters today it was an improvised explosive device, or IED, which caused that explosion. Yeah, at this point, our focus uh, is to determine you know, who and why. FBI and ATF agents spent the day knocking on doors, looking at surveillance video and picking through the scene of the explosion in the imam's office. The mosque's director, Mohammed Omar, says the room is, quote, completely damaged. The window of the imam is broken, as you guys can you know, see from, uh, from here, and most of the furniture was uh, either wet or burned down. No one was hurt. Omar says it was still dark out when the blast happened at 5.05, just five minutes after morning prayer began. He tells CARE 11 a mosque member was outside when he heard glass breaking and saw smoke, then saw a truck drive away. He says he ran inside to alert the congregation, then the explosion happened. I heard a loud bang. The sound startling neighbors who called 911. So I didn't think it was an explosion, you know, across the street. Members of various faith groups rallied at the scene today, showing support for the mosque. This family delivering flowers to the scene of the explosion after hearing about it on the news. We thought that was horrible and uh, we just wanted to come out and, and say that we were sorry this happened. Tonight, the congregation held evening prayer outside the mosque entrance. Omar says they were waiting for a crew to check the sprinkler system and make sure it's safe before going back inside. The whole neighborhood was calm and every, everything was, people were supposed to be sleeping. That's how peaceful it should be. So, I mean, I was shocked when I learned this happened. Omar tells me that uh, cleanup of the damaged imam's office will continue tomorrow. The Muslim American Society of Minnesota is offering a $10,000 reward to anyone who can provide information leading to the arrest and conviction of the person responsible for this explosion. Anyone with information on this incident is asked to call the FBI at 1-800-CALL-FBI. Corey. Yeah, still a lot of questions out there. Thank you, Ivory.